Hello everyone. You guys are watching live, watching later. I imagine there'll be more people watching later. But it's the ninth pieces of Rambo Three, which was actually part of last week's commission sale, but I got too busy during the week and was not able to fulfill it. Hence, I didn't do a sale this week because I wanted to make sure I caught this one up before moving on. That's another one. Okay. This one actually won't take too long. So I'll use this as an opportunity to talk about. Uh, Last weekend, I just got back from the Charlotte Minicon. That puts that into a time frame. Um, I mean, I don't know what you measure success by, but I will say it's successful. Sold some pieces. Um, I made. I mean, if you just want to do it monetarily, I made a, about what I make at uh, my day job, like a paycheck from there, so. Caught up with old friends, made some new ones. Lots of new followers. Greetings to any of you new followers. Welcome to How I Do Things. Having no clue what I'm doing, no. But I got a lot of stuff to do. I have another event coming up this weekend. It's the, I believe it's pronounced uh, Noise. It's a mini, uh, it's a, like a zine festival, comic festival, something very small for the first time up in Norfolk, Virginia. Going there with my sister Allie. I'll talk about her a lot, but you know. Be sure to sell her stuff. Follow her and all. Buy her. She does really cool uh, space cat art stuff. Let's go follow her. Um, I'm not happy with that hand here, but we'll fix it in post. It'll be fun. water in there. Um, explain a little of my technique for anybody who's just now discovering this video somehow. Um, this is a uh, cold press water paper. Not too much of a tooth on it, but just a little bit. Um, and what I do is I kind of Usually pre-stain it, I guess is a term. Um, uh, what I've been doing lately is using these spray bottles. Like this, filled with a little bit of water and a little bit of the liquid watercolor. I was spraying like a fine mist and I'm mixing some water. Or just like a fine, just, just the water spray itself. And then it gets this kind of texture to it. And I take the yellow and just drop it on there and gets these cool little dots. That's will always be my favorite part. Like the drawing itself is inconsequential to uh, the, the prepping of all of this. Not to make light of it, but I do kind of know how I draw things, and 
instead of focusing so much on trying to dazzle you with how well I can draw, I can enjoy myself. Um, with um, you know, making these canvases, that's that'll always be my favorite part. I kind of prefer the um, I prefer like black and white art, um, and then using color as described as like using color as a weapon. I believe it's been called. So this is some, what is this? Higgins Eternal ink. Um, usually I use a, uh, a fountain pen ink that is water soluble. Um, but I'm completely out of that. I, I took it to the Minicon, and it leaked. And I couldn't figure out how to get it to stop leaking, so I ended up having to throw the bottle away. But it was just a very tiny little bit left I had planned to scrape out there anyhow. But I may do with stuff. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Let me look back at my reference up here. There's one thing that's cool about um, the way I've been doing things is you can, it, maybe I'm fooling myself a little bit, you know, it's almost like the, just using these tints, it, I feel it kind of colors things anyway. So that all I'll need to do is go back with a little bit of white in certain areas to um, really make like his chest and stuff like the the glistening look. Because if I remember Rambo Three, I believe he is in Thailand, you know the Philippines. I'm not sure, and I'll stop talking before I sound completely racist. I just don't remember the movie. What I do remember of the movie is that uh, he's fighting the Russians, and he's uh, helping the Al-Qaeda, Al or what will go on to be <laughs> Al-Qaeda. And I'm sure his actions will have no ramifications on American history at all. And again, I'll stop talking before I sound completely awful. Um, so yeah, this one's going pretty fast. Not a whole lot to uh, fret over. Just need to, you know, make sure not to get too cocky about it. See, now that, you know, I have these, um, tones in there. I can just go through a little bit of brushwork and add some darks in. And really make this face come alive. I 
I am not the best at likenesses, but there's just certain little things I'll try to capture, right? The overall shape of everyone. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys a little bit. Is that better? Let me know in the comments. Well, speaking of comments, I met uh, a lovely young person who warmed my heart. Cause she, when I said I did live streams, she asked me if I was on Twitch, and I was like, I want to be so bad. <laughs> Only because that's where uh, it's easier to monetize stuff over there. And my long-term goal, eventually, is I want to get back to um, you know doing art full time. I'd love to just be able to set up online, you know, like once a day. And just create stuff again. I'll get there. This is uh, going to be a big year for me. Sorry, that was, it's, yeah. yeah, see that, it got a little away from me there. A little dry, it'll be fun. Be a big year. You know, like, oh, I completely ruined everything. No, I didn't ruin anything. The wheel. Wheel? A uh, wheel. Let's pull this back a little bit. And I'm gonna put my hand over top of this. Missing. I was like, I don't remember what it was. I was like, oh yeah. Like something's missing, like, oh yeah, the, the red. And see that one little bit right there, to me, that, that kind of makes all the difference. A little bit of a detail, let's see, a face. Let's see my reference picture. He's a little more orange from everything, but I don't know if I want to really get it in the kind of color, but let's put a, since this is still wet, put a 
little bit in here. Especially across his lips. And he has some cheekbones here. So the plan is, when this dries completely, I'm going to go back with a white color pencil. I'm going to add uh, some more definition and things to him. And the coolest part is the, um, not to me anyway, is since I started like taping these things off, um, when I remove the tape, uh, they, they just pop out so well. And using the, the mist like I have, it creates these wonderful textures, or you know, like I don't know. I I, I think I, I found a, a method finally. And this is the uh, the the cheaper paper I've been using. So the more expensive stuff that I have on my Amazon wish list is um it, it takes this uh, method so much better. It's a so that's that's been really fun to play around with and find that yep so right now uh, plan is when this dries completely I will go back and add a little bit of white kind of like under here maybe on there and across his face um, um, adds a couple of lines here. Right now this is wet so if I do anything in here it's just going to bleed out so I need this to dry so I can go back with the black and add a couple of lines there but um, alright you know it just went so quickly let me just mix some stuff up over here And we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna add some background people or Plus he's a, a stoop fighter, I said, and the hiding out. Yeah, this is uh, this went a little faster. It's simple. I like what's happening here. So I don't want to do any. Well, not any, but don't want to do a whole lot. Let's give some impressions of figures. That he's being bit on. He's like a I don't think I've had any comments, but I need some brown in here. Everyone's cheering him on. I'm sure fans of the series will disagree, but 
there's an original ending for the first uh, Rambo, First Blood, as it's called. That's uh, based, because it's based on a book, and in the book, the uh, John Rambo kills himself coming out of the war for his PTSD, you know. And they shot it that way, so to speak. Um, it's a beautiful scene. But I understand why people were upset by it. Or they didn't want that version. Just add little impressions of some character and just people smiling. That's why I need some paint gray. Yeah, I'm getting a little too, uh, too literal over here. Yeah. This is, I think this definitely needed that. Okay, what well, I might even. use a color pencil maybe I'll draw a little some figures back here again it all has to dry completely if you try to use color pencil on uh, your paper or if it's not completely dry you will just rip a hole right through it or kind of won't even it won't even work I was talking the other day about how I lived up in New Jersey for a little while and um, when I first got there it was super humid and they don't really use or my building anyway at the time didn't really use air conditioning uh, so I just had like the window open and it was so warm in there it was so humid that uh, the paper was just too wet just from the environment and I couldn't um, I couldn't even get the pencil to... I couldn't even pencil anything. It was just that wet. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, tell you what though, let me put my hand long ways. like a careful um, sort of a shaft of light let's see one. there my mist guy gone yeah that worked a little bit Yeah, there's my uh, Rambo 3. That is the, uh, most of the watercolor. As I talked about, I'll have to go back when it dries. 
Maybe if I drown with a little bit of details on everybody because it's still kind of wet, so the figures in the background want to bleed out a little too much. I don't want to add a whole lot of detail. I want to keep them kind of like that, but yeah. Cool. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Um, I'll probably try to do a live stream uh, sale again next weekend or Monday, I should say. And also, don't forget to sign up for my Patreon at patreon.com slash boatrightartwork. Uh, next month, um, everyone's going to get Valentine's uh, from the print blocks. I bought a brayer and some ink. So we're going to make block printed Valentine's for everyone. I even drew the little uh, design out today. I'll show there, share that. And I'll film that process. Um, also, uh, the TMT, or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Month is coming to a close. Um, hold on, well, I got you guys here. Uh, hold on, I want to show. I don't know what might pop up here. <laughs> My vital information. You lucky folks that are watching now, uh, tomorrow's piece is going to be uh, Wing Nut and Sprout Loose. You can't really see that too well. Sorry. Oh, there you go. It's a little better. Yeah, that's what I'm posting tomorrow. E. Um, that's going to be showing in this week. Um, turn this around. Turn it around. Oh, there it is. Hi. Oh, okay. I don't look a mess. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, the Ninja Turtle month is coming to a close. Uh, next month is February, a shorter month. Um, what I'm going to do um, is called the Inhumanoids. If you ever know what that is, I I never watched the cartoon, but I'm aware of the toys. They were like, you know, almost a foot tall, which is these big giant monsters and ones. Um, so I'm going to try to, maybe try to do those as originals. The Ninja Turtle stuff I've been doing digitally, um, maybe I'll try to do a combination of both, but mainly I definitely want to do uh, something I can sell later. So um, I'll do 9 by 12 and try to capture that footage because I also have a, um, a GoPro I got at a used store. Um, so hopefully that will help me in these long term pieces uh, for the works in progress. Um, yeah, and I try to do one of those like once a week, post one on the weekend. And while I do the Valentine stuff and catch me up, I need to start doing the comic strip again. I have so many ideas for that. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm picking uh, this one for me. Uh, next month in March, we'll come up with something. It'll be March of something. I don't know what. Uh, so comment below if you have any ideas or send me a message or DM on Patreon um, of what you want to choose from. Um, I'm open to anything. I do know for April, I'll probably do a Star Wars month because uh, May 4th and Free Comic Book Day, I can have some, like a, the collection of it together. So April will probably be Star Wars. Uh, so March is open. So let me know what kind of pop culture stuff you want me to be drawing. Um, I'll just throw out some ideas. We'll I'll do a little multi-choice thing up for uh, on my Patreon. Anyway, so once again, let's feed that round. That's how the uh, the Rambo three piece is drying. I'm very happy with it. Uh, started out really simple and I made it a little more complex. Uh, like I said, I'll add in some white highlights or actually I'll probably use a yellow pencil. Color pencil highlights. That's what we'll do. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching and good night. Good night.